The following program contains scenes and language of a frank and explicit nature. Discretion is advised. All right, everybody. Since Todd's not here, I'm going to do his classic, uh, <clears throat> all right. No, that's gay. Fuck Todd. Fuck Todd. Fuck Todd and the horse he rode in on, everybody. You got it? Um, thank you. Welcome to Rare Form Radio. I am Dan Cleary, the host for the evening. And uh, we'll get into who's joining me in just a moment. But first, I would like to read some, um, some Patreon names. The very lovely people who donate to uh, keeping this show afloat. Um, our third tier people, the $20 submissions. We want to welcome Laura Lee and also Matt Monroe. Thank you, dude. He bumped up from $10 to $20 because he's rad and he cares about the show more than the rest of you do. The more you pay, the more you care. Everyone knows that. Don't be cheap. Right, Lisa? I mean, I'm not going to introduce you yet, but right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, also, um, That's what our, sound like. so, our second tier people, the $10 uh, donation people, Jackie Nawara, Maddie Hurley, Michael Nolan, um, Tamara Rhodes, Tamara Rhodes, Tamara, Tamara, either one. Welcome, guys. No, thank, you thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank, thank you for you. the support. <laughs> um, I am joined tonight by one of my favorite people in the world, uh, someone who we started this podcast with, the one and only. Lisa Rafael Dunn Rafael. Dunn Rafael Rafael Dunn. Hi. Welcome. How are you, friend? Hello, Mr. Cleary. How are you, Daniel? I'm doing really, really good. Yeah. I'm doing really, really, really good. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> really good. Um, thank you for coming. Todd is out of town. And yes. um, Todd and I had a discussion about he's going to be in and out of town with some, some family situations going on out of state. So in and out. And when coming up with people to fill in from time to time you were the first person he suggested i said oh, no i said no and course, he pushed yeah. for it he pushed all for right it. well hell so, yeah thank, thank you, you for, todd all right yeah. todd <laughs> thank you for coming in last minute and uh sure. and being here it's good yeah, to man. see you i mean i'm in um, my house it's not really that big of a deal so true. it's very very true yeah so uh we are recording this on november 8th and the election was november 3rd so I have made a vow, sort of, to our listeners to not really talk politics. So I'm going to make a deal with everyone listening. We're not going to talk about it at the beginning of the show. It'll be the last thing we talk about. So if you don't want to hear it, you can tune out. Does that sound fair, Lisa? I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I imagine you have some thoughts on the matter. I do want to ask you just uh, about all that kind of stuff. But we're going to wait until the end. I will say I am happy to have the old fun Dan return as well. <laughs> Because even you. our relationship has taken a really serious turn. Every time you've come over here, we've been socially distanced. Uh -huh. You've been pretty fucking bummed out. It, and you've known me for 21, 22 years now. And yeah. that's not, that's not it's my not you. That's not personality. You, it's not me. It's not you. I haven't liked it. And I actually, so <laughs> I, I put that tweet out of like, you know, congratulations to everyone for getting fun, relaxed Dan back. And <laughs> how many likes and responses and, and private messages I got about that. Yeah. made me realize how fucking unbearable I've probably been for four <laughs> years. And again, I apologize to everyone. I didn't realize. No, it I'm just at... shakes you a little. It just shakes you a little. It's like when the funny guy's bummed out, it's, you know, all bets are off. I it's didn't a enjoy sad it. time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. But like, <laughs> I feel like my whole body is erect right now with happiness. That's nice. how I feel. But nice. again, we're not going to get into it yet. Um, right. Sure. But uh, how have you been this year? Um, fucking awful. And, uh, uh, honestly, it would depend on the day. Okay. Um, some days were not very good. Uh, right. But more recently, I just, I feel like I've taken a shit, got banged like a hundred times and I feel better. <laughs> that's, cool. that's, really, that's really great. That's really good. And sometimes at the same time, which is why I like it's, you. Yeah, that's funny. That's how I do it. You're not, you're not one of these, let's do this, then this people. You're no, like, let's just I just thought, you know, it's just about, I'm a business lady and I don't have time. Your body and your pussy and your asshole are a potluck. Just do whatever, whenever, right? That's what my mommy says. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, I mean, we have a lot to catch up on publicly but 
what mm-hmm. has this mm-hmm. year entailed for you? Like, what are you doing to fill your time? What is it like? Oh, <laughs> what we got? What yeah, we got here? Fucking mine. <laughs> My husband is just banging furniture. It's good. Uh, yeah, like sorry, fu- like <laughs> fucking furniture. No, he, no, he just said, of course. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Do you want to say hi? Come say hi. Come here, you little stud. Get over here, you little sugar muffin plum. Let's see this guy. I don't want to. It's fine. Just that, say hi. I mean, you're already part of the show. You're interrupted enough. Yeah. You're already part of it. Yeah, really. If you, you know, if you just want to be part of it, John, just ask. No, you know, bang it. chairs and shit. HD, my cables to keep Jesus. this one child Christmas. Day. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. cool. Hi, Jolie. Do you want to say hi now too? The whole family's here. The dogs here. <laughs> All right, here we are. Oh my God! Hey, <laughs> oh, you guys may recognize this girl. I had a bloody nose today. You, you, you bl- guys, <laughs> she had a bloody nose today. Cool. She has, to, she has autism. Is it raining um, where you are? The weather reports are raining candy. <laughs> okay, let's go. I love you, Doxy. You need a bath so bad. The dog, every time my dog opens her mouth, I'm not kidding you. It smells like somebody farted. It's so bad. You okay, have bye. seriously. You, you have never, ever in the time I've known you had a pet that was passable as a cool animal. <laughs> Fuck you. You haven't even had a pet, so shut up. I've had, I've had pets. Burn. I've had pets, you fucking cunt. Um, <laughs> so seriously, so what, like, how are you guys passing time? Like, what does your day consist of? What is it like <sighs> School schooling just, for you? Oh, it's fucking awful. It's really, it's really quite awful. Um, Johnny and I, it was tearing the family apart. It's like, no, you do it today. I can't. I don't have the will to live anymore. Um, Yeah, there's been a lot of homeschooling. And then in addition to homeschooling, of course, there's her homework, which is a whole other thing. And suffice to say, I ain't passing third grade math. <laughs> but it's really fucking hard. Um, yeah, it's it's not it's it's just not a good time for anybody. Um and then, you know, I've tried to get some creative time in. So I'm, I'm writing and um, I just got an amp and that I put in to our spare room, which used to be Jolie's room, but now she's moved into, she's like the trauma from the whole thing. I need to sleep in your room for nine months. So she's in our room. So her room is free game. So we've turned that into the gym studio library. Um, so I, I put up a PA in her room and oh, I just yeah. go in and sing for hours and it's so fucking fun for me and no one else. The neighbors hate me. Oh, fuck them. Who cares though? Who cares? <laughs> Not so, I. So <laughs> a lot of listeners know, but you, uh, you've been a musician for a long time and you currently have two, two bands. One, yeah. you have Kalola, which has been happening since what, 2003? I don't know. I think 2003. Yeah, something like that. Something um, crazy. 2002 or three. And then also your newest thing, which is H kink. Yes. How would you describe H. Kink? What is H. Kink? Well, um, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, good answer. <laughs> no, it's just, uh, you know, uh, however I'm kind of feeling, we started off kind of like a dirty bathroom pop and it's moved sort of into a country vein and now it's taking another turn into sort of like space ABBA. So interesting. We'll, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. I want to ask you about the, uh, the, the country aspect because that's mm-hmm. a part of you that I didn't really know that you were interested in. Really? I didn't know that. I don't think That's I, so strange I, to me. I knew that, but the more new music I heard from you, like mm-hmm. it was, it was definitely going in that, um, um, like, what? Well, that vein. Well, I don't know. I've yeah. always been, I've always been a country fan. We've gone to karaoke together, right? <laughs> it's like the Have first, we, that, those are my like go-to numbers. Right. Like playing music as long as you and I have together like i figured it would have come up but i guess not. um i guess i'm surprised also yeah. i just i don't care about like stuff that you say usually right you know so there's that right um but right. yeah so again dan <laughs> uh, i've really always been into to country um i just like the storytelling and um i love singing i love being able to oh you know right, right. <laughs> that shit and you get to really sing out when you sing country so and um how, how come you waited until like you're like late fifties to get into singing it. Like <laughs> well, I thought once menopause hit, sure, sure. <laughs> no, but really, something it, else to concentrate on. It's an aspect I've never seen like come out in your music before. And now it's like, I'm coming sorry, out. you're so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. It's, it's, we should probably wrap this up. I've had a bad yeah, all right. I good. always, I always forget how much, you. I always forget how much I hate <laughs> spending time with you. <laughs> Until we really get going. Happy to help. Yeah. <laughs>
No, but it's interesting, like how it's it's kind of sh- popping up now more and more in your music. Was it a conscious choice, or just are you listening to it? Yeah, more well, now originally, or? originally, um, H King. That's what uh, when Tim and I started talking about a new music musical project. I said I I really want to do a country record, and that was originally what we set out to do. But then, you know, you know how it is. Things just take their own shape, and you just uh, go with the flow. And there was a couple that kind of scratched the itch on that first record. But then the second one, when it was just myself and then I was writing with Luke Tierney, um, I just got to do all of that. That seemed more natural for us. So that's what, that's what happened. And now it's taking a different turn again. So. That's kind of the fun thing about having a band where you don't have to kind of stay in a, in a lane, you know? Yeah. You just do whatever the fuck you want. (laughs) I didn't didn't realize until now, but like H King sounds kind of like, like ween or something where thank you you, you can just do whatever you want yeah. to do even like within songs can change within themselves sometimes and mm-hmm. uh, do whatever mid song <laughs> kind of yeah Fuck it. trap <laughs> now good. i don't know <laughs> and what's uh what's going on with uh with colola lately not a lot dan's ready <laughs> ready to have uh another bambino oh you're kidding so, me no like any day thanksgiving Katie Dan, is, Stu, Dan, is, Dan Grody is your is your drummer. Is my very great drummer and great friend. Yes. Um, so we just released a song called uh, "I'm Magic," um, mm-hmm. which I think is really good. It's available everywhere. <laughs> yes, go get yeah. it. Go get it. Mm-hmm. Um, and as soon as Katie pops this one out, I want to, you know, put on some masks and play in some form because I'm fucking dying without playing live, that was my next question which is the I was, reason i got the pa and i was curious if that was something that you missed or if the if the <laughs> you know recording process was your preferred thing to no do i mean or... well i've been recording so that's that itch has been scratched it's just the live performing or not even not even performing live just being in a room with other musicians and playing music and i miss the smell of a rehearsal studio i it you is know, so specific it is. Yeah. It is. It's so many yeah. like uh, small puddles of spilled beer in different corners, and like <laughs> yes. the, the disappointment. Faint smell. Yes. Yeah, of course, <laughs> dreams crushed. Um, like yeah. uh, someone smoking where they shouldn't smoke, but you can tell, yeah. you can tell that someone that smoked in there. Yeah, yeah that's you. <laughs> Not cigarettes, because no, that's of course. fucking gross. Just crack and crack only mm-hmm. what do you think about what happened in uh, Oregon? that's wild it's wild if you guys I want to i kind of want to just go walk around and see what's up just everybody's just thought what's up now you know <laughs> kind of cool does that happen immediately so what happened like uh in this last election I don't think so. there were so many measures on so many state things but in oregon they have decriminalized cocaine mushrooms meth and heroin i think right nice that's fucking nice. crazy. That's crazy. It's pretty, it's pretty wild. Uh, or is it not crazy? Because if you have if you have booze that's legal, which is as dangerous as any drug, if you ask me, um, why not have them all legal? That's how I feel. I'm a bad girl, Sam. What are you mm. drinking? Mm. Is that Sprite? This little Prince of Sprite cool. mixed with Monster Energy drink. Um, no, it's a uh, margarita. Ew. Re- Listen. Three a day. My hi- Let me. Stop it. Three a day. Why? Maybe when are two, you going to Magic two, Mountain, bro? Like what? Wait till so you where, see, where's <laughs> wait till where's you your see fucking my, laser my, pointer, bro? My flat brimmed hat. You're going to love it. Oh, oh, you're like Shifty Binzer. It's probably a friend of yours. I'm not going <laughs> to. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> probably a friend of mine. Fuck you. Uh, I don't know who that is, but I'm offended. So fuck yourself. <laughs> who, who is Shifty who is, Binzer? Wait, bro? I only know him as Shifty Binzer. What's Shifty Binzer in, Johnny? What song? He's like, uh, the butterfly, baby. That guy. Oh, Crazy Town. Crazy Town. Yeah, Crazy Town. That's your buddy? Yeah, he's pretty red. He's pretty red. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him to, to co-host tonight, what? but he wasn't available. He, hit out on the roof. he what? He hit out on the roof of the Dr. Drew show. Oh, yeah, that's right. Celebrity drug rehab, whatever it was, with Dr. Drew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he went to go look for him, and he was, like, hiding in a tree on the roof. I don't know. Oh, I, I miss that show so much. <laughs> It's pretty good time. Yeah, that was good shit. Um, I get by now by just uh, watching the reruns of uh, House of Carter's. What's that? Oh, good. did you watch his uh, Nick Carter's? Was it no Aaron Carter? Which one did the the jerk off session for Aaron. on Zoom? Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. Did you uh, yeah. did you pay money? I was to almost watch in this? for Halloween. 
I did oh, not. Wow. I, people send this to me for free, which is awesome. People just know that I'm obsessed with them. So I just check my DMs and I'm like, oh, nice cock today, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, so Aaron Carter, uh, again, you guys probably know, he's he's like, how do you- a friend of yours? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you wish, you wish he was. I do, I do. I do. He called me once. Wait he called me once. I swear okay. to God. Back it up. Listen, so when he was tripping out, having Duster on Periscope, <laughs> Johnny and I were obsessed and we were glued to everything he did for 24 hours a day. And well, maybe not 24 hours, I'm a kid. That's <laughs> so a like lot, 23 that's a hours a day. A day. Yeah. Um, and he gave out his phone number and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna call Aaron. I'll see what's up right now. So <laughs> I gave him a phone call and it went to voicemail and I was like, ah, oh, Aaron, you liar. And I guess like three or four days later, I was in Pilates class and my phone goes off and I put his number in my phone because Aaron of Carter. Of course, of course. And it says Aaron Carter. And I'm like, I, in the middle of fucking, I, and I said, I, I'll be right back. <laughs> I went to the phone. I was like, hello. He's like, hey, who is this? I was like, hey, Aaron, it's Lisa. How are you? And he's like, not too good right now. I just totaled my whole car. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's wait, 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 he totaled the whole car? The, the whole car, yeah. Not this part of it. <laughs> No, the whole car. <laughs> I told him just my bumper. I told the front light. of my car. The back is fine. <laughs> and uh, it's like, oh, well, it's just things. The important thing is you're okay. So what else is up? And he's like, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, how you doing today? And I was like, well, I'm in Pilates. It, 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 it was it, the conversation really led nowhere, but it was just cool. <laughs> a phone call from Aaron Carter. We never spoke again. This is going to be a great story when he inevitably blows his head off on uh, Facebook Live. He's not Live. doing well right now. He's no. not. He's He was doing all right for a little while, and now he's back on the crazy train. Your yeah, story he reminds should move me, to Oregon. Your story reminds me a lot of the time I met Elliot Smith. It's a mm. very similar. At a, There was a club in L.A. that just closed down now, which is sad, but it was called Spaceland. And mm. we, would, we would all, all of us would go play there and watch our favorite bands play. And they had like an upstairs bar. I mean, you know this, but I'm talking to the people that are listening. But the upstairs bar, there was like, a, you know, stools and shit. I was sitting there and Elliot Smith, I didn't realize, was sitting next to me. And um, he was just crying. <laughs> no, he was like head down, like full on as sure. Elliot Smith as he could possibly be. Sure, like yeah. if, if, if someone were to sketch him, it would be this image. right? Mm. Here. So uh, I was sitting there with my with my bandmate, Nate. and um, we were like, hey, man, how are you? He goes, and just kind of looked up and just kind of shook his head, kind of like Aaron Carter did. Hmm. And uh, Nate said to him, hey, man, um, uh, what do you say? What the fuck was the question? Oh, he goes, what kind of acoustic guitars are you playing lately? And he goes, I play Yamahas. I bite my nails. And then he put his head back down. Oh, yeah, good. Okay. But, cool. And we're like, and, and I think Nate just said, Cool, man. <laughs> you know, I was at this show. That. I was at this show. I saw him once at the Roxy. Uh-huh. And it was a brilliant show. And then I saw him once again at Spaceland. And he just didn't know any of the words and was would just like zone out in the middle of songs. And it was it was pretty sad. Was that towards the end? Yeah. I never saw him play. And I, he's someone whose music I never heard until. This wasn't, oh, he didn't play that night. He was just there. He was just there. So maybe he, it wasn't that night. I All think right. he lived He lived in the hood, so he was just mm-hmm. hanging out. But I never saw him play. He's someone whose music I got into kind of a little bit later on. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Now, where do we go from here? Um. <laughs> 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 hmm. Can we try to call Aaron? Or? Yeah, that'd be great. Will you yeah. try? Call him right now and see what I happens. don't have his number anymore, and he changed it. Oh, uh, what the a motherfucker. Sucker. I know. I don't think I was damaged enough for him. I'm working thank, on it. I want to thank you real quick. Why? During this, uh, th- we've been home for what? Eight, nine, nine, almost nine months now? So fucking long. Yeah. Really a long time. Yeah. But a couple of times over the past eight or nine months, you have made me a couple meals and it is so kind of you. I know. Kindness I know. that I didn't know that you had. I didn't like... <laughs> Everyone who knows you was shocked by this kind of kindness. You know? Fuck off. That's but what I do in times of trouble. I cook. <laughs> I really had no idea. Like, I, I didn't know that you cooked that much, but it was very sweet of you. I, you. You made fried chicken one night and I commented on a picture. And within a couple of days, like you made me a whole like yes, 40, you know. 40 pounds of fried chicken and <laughs> pasta. It was fried chicken, pasta, mashed potatoes, chocolate chip cookies, yeah, and just um, you don't you don't have to ask. It. I'll just do it again. It's it's fine. It's, okay, it's that's really... that's, where, that's where I'm at. I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna be hungry tomorrow, so I just want to let yeah. you know. 
No, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm Italian. And so that's my Achilles heel was when people talk about how they're hungry and my food looks good. I'm like, oh, now I got to cook it up, you know, <laughs> so, so that's what happened. It was very sweet. Are you, uh, Thank you. do you guys, You're welcome. Do, you, do you cook every night? Are you the one? Hell no. Cook? No. Hell no. I go through periods where I'm like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's when these two start eating like absolute fucking cavemen. They just like, they'll survive on like Cheerios. And I'm like, Ugh, you guys haven't eaten anything green in like a week. And so then I go through phases where I'm, where I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I'm tired. And I'm like, we need to order food. I can't, I can't anymore. I just can't go on. So uh, it sounds like that there's times where you feel like you are your husband's mother. And yes, my, cause my, wife said, my wife says this to me all the time too. And it drives her a little bit nuts. Uh, how do you feel like when you have to remind your husband to eat vegetables? How do you? How... Well, he drives me crazy. I, I look at him and it's like nine o'clock at night, and he's like, oh, "I ate a power bar today." <laughs> he's like, the fucking refrigerator is literally right there. What's the matter with you? Just like get something. That's how a lot of us operate. Why? Like yesterday, yesterday I, I drink all water I had... now. You happy? No, go for it. That's great. Yeah. Yesterday, all I ate was I had a ice blended from Coffee Bean. Uh, two monsters, three chocolate chip cookies, and then Dave's hot chicken. That was my entire intake oh, for the damn. day. I would be dead if I ate like that, straight up. Like my system is so fragile. <laughs> Anyhow, if I do anything that throws it off at all, I'm just like Zelda <laughs> in my fucking bed for like three days. Yeah, your 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 body and your mind are very much on edge at all it's, times. <laughs> it's really really fucking true. Yeah, it's really true. But monster, this one brought in a Monster Energy drink the other day cotton candy flavored i i almost oh, broke up with him i gotta get I said, it you gotta be fucking kidding me with this shit bang. oh i'm sorry it was bang not monster oh yeah I, which I was is like, like i was wondering like, I don't, monster i don't know about generic monster, monster. yeah <laughs> bargain bin that's like when you get like the uh, the mexican market downtown mm -hmm. yeah that's so disgusting johnny that's so disgusting so on tuesday i'm getting freeze it snore on it. tuesday i'm getting five cases of monster delivered to my house I got, oh a, my God. I, got, I got a monster Rob sponsorship. Deirdre? No, basically, basically. <laughs> a friend of mine like has a buddy who works for Monster, and he's like, hey, just hit up my buddy, and he'll bring you as much as you want. So oh, my I, God. I tested the waters, and he goes, man, how many cases do you want? I'm like, I don't know, two. And he brought six. <laughs> and then now I'm just like, every couple months, I'm like, I'll take five of these, two of those, and it's awesome. Oh, my God, man. And now, have you always done Monster? I know you've been like a coffee bean freak for years i go through phases. like every time i talk to you you're like i'm at the coffee bean do you want anything <laughs> yeah. yeah i go every day every single day uh, um, do they give you free drinks now when they see you because no, they're but, like you again no i'm only at the level where i order a um medium and they give me a large so i pay for a medium Damn. every day they give me a large and Damn. if they see me parking It'll be on they the counter waiting for me. That's boss type even, shit. Yeah. Pinky yeah, ring yeah. wearing shit. Yeah. I, don't say, I don't say hello. I don't say thank you. I get fuck it. I no. turn the fuck out. Shh, peasants. And like, I usually come in with like a little handful of trash. And as I'm leaving, I just nice. throw it on the ground. Yes. You know? Power move. That's how, you get the, that's how you get people to fuck you too. That's how you get the large, bro. Yes. Yes. You know. Yes. Yes. You know. So yeah, my current uh, obsession is monster and these whole foods, chocolate chip cookies that are brown butter chocolate chip I have, cookies. I have the vegan ones right now. That's not real. I'm talking about real food. <laughs> no, like, so adults. good though. No. For me, it's so good. No, I'm talking about <laughs> it tastes treats real. for adults. <laughs> yeah. Um, the brown so butter, it's where it's at. Butter. Brown I've butter heard you chocolate mention chip these. cookies. Yeah. They're unbelievable. Um, I just, I'm home. I'm doing nothing. You got to eat better though. I love no, you, I but you got to, oh, damn, I don't. Daniel, please. You're scaring me with this shit. Seriously. Every, fried chicken, every coffee year. bean. Monster energy drinks. Yep. You think your stomach's happy with this? It is. It is. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know how I know? I haven't shit in two months, so I'm doing fine. <laughs> I, mean, I had a fucking panic attack for the first time, honest to God, in about seven years. I didn't shit first thing in the morning the other day. <laughs> and you had a panic and attack? I was like, <laughs> yes, because my shit is like clockwork. And to miss a day, like it didn't even come later in the day. Like, okay, you maybe you're a little stressed. Like, here it is for you now. No, nothing. It just skipped a day, and I was like, oh, I'm I'm dying. Like, this something is terribly wrong. But I shit today a lot. <laughs> I let it hang out another ten seconds or so. It's glorious. Dan and I, for a really long time, should I tell them what we send each other? 
Is that yeah, too go much? For it. Go for it. Go for it. For years now, Dan and I, whenever one of us has a particularly gross poop session, we'll photograph it and send Why it to the other one. Your voice cracked. Your voice cracked. You said poop, poop session. Because <laughs> you know what? I don't like that word. That's a shit. I don't a like sh- poop. It, it, it's a poopy word is what it is. Oh, poop. It just sounds like grow up, bitch. <laughs> yeah. like, take a poop. Oh, well, I don't what about, like what, it. What about crap? Take a crap. Yeah, crap's all right. Ugh, no, not yeah. either. So go, you were saying. <laughs> take a grumpy. <laughs> what? So, yeah. yes. So we'll just send each other photographs. I have like my library. F- you know, I uh, sometimes I don't even respond to you. They're so nasty from all the fucking monster energy drink and whatnot. Listen, hold on. Hold back the <laughs> fuck up for a second. Yeah. To say that like. Oh, I don't respond because yours are so nasty. You send me <laughs> ones with you send ones with blood in them and like splattered like wait, up on the wait. wall. Excuse That's me? from my pussy. It's different. <laughs> all right, Frank, when you're editing, I'm gonna have you drop in Hi, all, Frank. The pi- all the pictures of Lisa's <laughs> shit right here. Just no, 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 <laughs> don't show the shit. Don't show the too shit. Late. It's too late. It's done. That's just right. For- Dude, I'm not it's awesome. done. It's done. Um yeah, we do that. Like we, you are the most dude-like girl I've ever known Thank in you. my life. Thank and you. yet at the same time, you get so easily Total offended. Hypocrite. Totally offended. <laughs> yeah. Big hypocrite. Yeah, that's me. There was a time, no joke. I was over your house. We had like a, a backyard hang a couple months mm-hmm. ago. And um, <laughs> this is this in the span of five minutes. This is what happened. <laughs> I'm spitting. Go ahead. You, you stood up. And you farted directly onto your daughter. <laughs> like you literally, you put your ass on her arm and farted <laughs> on her arm. This and sounds nothing like me. No, it happened. And it, it no. was weird. It was uh, aggressive. <laughs> it was probably illegal in some way. And then no shit. Five minutes later, I burped like 15 feet from you. And you're like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? That's gross. Like you want to be living in a time of, of Rona. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Which I guess doesn't come out of your ass. Supposedly. No, it doesn't. It's been but, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's the, I will say that is one of the hardest parts about being your friend is sure. the hypocrisy. It's tough. Oh, sure. Actually, Johnny complains about that also. Uh, of course like- <laughs> he does. I mean, he, he probably gets it two or three times a goddamn day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, so sorry, that's just a small price to pay. You, you know, know what's weird? It's almost huh. it's almost more annoying that you're aware of it in a weird way. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're making it even worse. Like the fact that you're like you're like, yeah, I'm, I fucking yeah. suck. What are you gonna no, do about it? <laughs> I don't deny it. <laughs> no, like my body temperature is raising because you're just like so cool with being having double standards. It's really frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it's true, right? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Oh, fuck you should you. probably change the subject. So speaking of uh, <laughs> of, of anxiety, um, mm. has your anxiety, is that gotten worse over the last eight months? Because I mean, there's nothing, there's, there's not a whole lot to do. It would but- be hard to get worse, but um, I've actually had to keep it together for other people. So mm-hmm. that's been tough. There's been one, there was one day where I just, so excuse me, I'll be right back. And went into my bedroom, locked the door, and just scream cried into the pillow for like 20 minutes, and then came out and I was like, all right, let's do it. Everything's cool now. But yeah, there's some days, there yep. were some days where it's just like I felt um very out of body mm-hmm. and just not knowing what the fuck was happening, where I where where I am, like what's ugh, it, it got pretty dark. Now is it is that because of just like isolation or just overwhelmed like uh it was when the fires were happening oh so we were isolated and then we couldn't fucking go out the planet's burning and you know it was just like it was just too much it was just over three million acres in california (sighs) burned uh so far this year more than that now oh yeah no i'm saying thumbs up yeah yeah but yeah 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 so it's a very very testing year (laughs) yeah but i'll tell you Last night, we took a little drive down Santa Monica Boulevard um, and people were dancing in the streets and hanging out of their cars and people, this hasn't happened for me personally a long time. I mean, I, I, I felt like people just don't want to be around other people. It's probably true. And you totally get that sense. Everybody's hostile, myself included. Um, 
tried to go for a hike a month ago and people were, some people were maskless and just, you know, you just don't want to be around people. And the, and the vibe has been very hostile. So to go from that for so long to seeing people and making eye contact and smiling and cheering, I was weeping in the car, just, it's beautiful. If anyone's curious, the the reason that was happening all over the country in many spots and all over the world is yesterday, uh, Joe Biden officially won the presidency. Um, Media again, can't announce a president. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll get Some to Hick was arguing with me on my we're gonna, Instagram. We're going we're to save this till the very <laughs> end because we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to spend some time on this because you and I have some feelings, but I know what you mean. Like there's a, there's a certain like a release valve that mm. happened. Yeah. Um, and just people yeah. like, like your Johnny, your, your husband tweeted today that your neighborhood sounds happier today. And I know yes. what you mean. Like there's yes. a certain, like a, it's a little too fucking loud. You know I've been saying, saying just like a, like a, uh, collective <laughs> calm down with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Fucking tearing the shit out of these motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> um, so I, does, and I imagine some of your anxiety too comes from, uh, just having a daughter who, <gasps> who's having her life affected. And I mean, you, you, she already has taken on before all this, she's taken on some of your like germ concerns. Like you're very nervous about dirt. My kid would go to school with Purell pinned to her. (laughs) Yeah. That's a good way to make friends. It's a good way to make friends, by the way. Hey, if they needed hand sanitizer, they know who to go to. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. So I I imagine like um, uh, her already being, uh, she's an amazing kid, but already kind of on edge with things. This has probably just thrown her into a whole new world and missing out on, just those experiences that kids are supposed to have. Right. It's got to be hard. And you as just a worry long term, like what kind of stain this leaves on on a kid's brain. She's probably listening. So. That's okay. Well, I'll, I'll talk <laughs> yeah, for you. So I imagine her. like <laughs> it's going to be about a year, uh, a, a year total at least from so from March to March minimum of kids kind of being away from other kids. Yeah. And um, you know, let's let's hope it gets handled soon and people can kind of start getting back to normal. But these are important important years in time. So. Yeah, thanks for bringing down the mood, Dan. I'm, try, trying, to get, I'm trying to have my Oprah. Can you moment. talk about your shit some more, please. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. My mom died. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, I never know with you. <laughs> like, I know. I'm just trying to. Like, I'm trying to have an emotional show here. <laughs> um, speaking of your daughter, mm-hmm. who is uh, incredible. She's how much old is she now? She's eight, almost nine. Nine in less than a month. She's eight and almost nine in less than a month, and she has had some experiences already in her life that are wild, like Forrest Gumpian levels of, <laughs> of experience. Yeah. You know, um, was it two or three years yeah. ago? We went to like her first art show. Yeah. Was She's gearing three? up for another one. Oh, honey, do you have, do you have the elderly man? Oh my situation? God. I want to show, she drew something the other day that is so good. You can find I, these on Lisa's Instagram as well. Yes. They're on my Instagram. Uh, at Lisa Raffel. Yeah, I think so. R- that I- that or, or Rafael Lisa, one or the other. I don't know. Oh, yeah. R- R-I-E-F-F-E-L, and you'll find it. Um, yeah, she's getting ready to have another art show, actually. So, so she's, but this one will be virtual. So When was the could. first one? Was it two or three years ago? I think three? it was two years ago. Okay. So yeah. she, um, she has a personality like nothing I've ever seen in my life. And I think most of it comes from horrendous parenting, but let's see here. Totally. <laughs> Okay, what trauma. Did, elderly man, <laughs> 70 to 80. And this guy has a rack on him. Like, is he wearing a fucking COVID mask? No, he's just, he's got his glasses down low and he's judging people. Oh, I thought it was one of those uh, COVID shields. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> oh, it's, an, it's an oxygen tank. <laughs> look, it, and he's, apparently he's packing. Look at the, the, look at the pants are just stretching around the piece. Well, weirdly, your daughter knows too much about dicks for the age <laughs> that she is. And we had to talk. I want to get into that in a second too, but... Like the the fact that she chose to draw an old an old man in a very specific age range and mm. why he's wearing like like a high shorts and no shirt <laughs> like her her brain just works on a yeah. different level than it's pretty fucking cool yeah. most kids and like you you and Johnny are both incredibly creative people and it makes me kind of realize that that really might be genetic. There's something genetic to that. Well, also just fo- fostering that energy. Right. Um, I mean, since she was little, I'm talking three, four months old, we'd take her to as many art shows. Actually, we were looking at, 
pictures the other day. And there's this picture of Jolie, probably six months old, and she's standing next to this goat head that's been painted pink with like a house that's been carved into it. <clears throat> and I remember you, I was telling her, I was talking about you. I was like, Dan used to laugh at this picture and say, you won't let your relatives hold your child, but you'll let her stand next to a dead goat head. I'm like, yeah, it's for the art, baby. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. So we've just fostered that. She's been in art class since she was four. We tried to get her in at three and she, we, we were like, just lie, tell them you're four, you know, just instilling really good, um, ethics it's very important <laughs> so she gets in and she's like i'm free and they're like get out of here i'm like okay i'll come back next year <laughs> and so she went back when she's four and then stayed in art classes and yeah she's really creative and she's really more than the art the sketching side and the painting side she has such a great musical ear she plays piano by ear she learned by ear, okay? By, by ear? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, she she makes up songs, and she, but she's real shy. Once I say, hey, let's go, like, record this. Let's go lay it down. She just, she's like, no, 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 mom, chill out. It's, oh, it's okay. for the art, bitch. I, I don't do yeah. it for, I'm not well, I just want it the... so she can build on it if she wanted to, like, you know, have it, you know, and, and build something out of it. But she just likes to just go and play for the sake of playing, which is so beautiful. Well, the songwriting, that, that's kind of what I want to talk about is the, uh, Earlier this spring or summer, she went viral. She she recorded a song, or you recorded her on video, what, five years ago? Five, six years ago? No. Uh, was she it? was five. Okay. So three okay. years ago. Yeah, yeah. So everyone listening has probably heard this, uh, I Wonder What's Inside Your Butthole, mm -hmm. which was written and performed by your daughter on Correct. the spot. Yes. And you posted this, and it went insane. Yeah, it was crazy. How... Like, how did it start uh, snowballing? What happened? Talk us through, like, what, how that happened. I remember. Um, I think I just pretty much put it up on Twitter. Like, what's, what's, the, what's the retweet that sent it going crazy? Do you know? I don't know. I just remembered I woke up and Diplo was talking about it and Haley from Paramore and Phoebe Bridgers and, like, oh, Andy Richter. Like, everybody was just talking about it. And... It was, it was fucking just, just insanely crazy. I'm not supposed to say crazy anymore, Dan. Stop it. <laughs> that's not real, is it? Is that real? No, that's real. That's real. Yeah. But can I say insane? Yes. Same shit. Right? So that, so that song. But I feel like I am crazy, so I should have carte blanche. <laughs> had she, had she sung that song before? Or was that literally? No, in, this in is the her moment? all the time. No, this is like, she just makes up songs. This was her. She didn't want to go to bed. And I was like, get the fuck to bed. And she just, she, you know, she's cute as shit. And she gets her guitar and starts singing. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I record her and, you know, it's just organic and it was funny and came out and, you know, I'm recording for my husband. Right. I'm like, you know, I'm going to send this to him. He's going to die laughing oh, about this and our relatives right. at best. And then it's so cute. And they're like, oh, it's so cute. And then I put it up on Twitter and then everybody's like, oh my God, it's the song of the quarantine. Yeah. I feel <laughs> like a, a lot of your followers, especially on Instagram, a lot of us are there for her. You yeah, know, no shit, there, bro. So, huh? I know. You got to tell me. You're competing. You're competing. Um, I'm not I wanna, competing. I want to play this it's one. It's fine. That, I want to play <laughs> I can tell you. You're just totally cool with it. I want to play this one that, that you posted the other day. Yeah. She's the cutest fucking thing. All right. Frank, put, you're going to put the video right here, too. Here we go. I'm going to sing a song. One, two, ready, go. Why do you be nearing to Donald Trump? Why do you be nearing Donald Trump? He's a bad person. He's a bad person. He's kind of a little bit stupid. <laughs> he takes up the world. He takes not track. He steals money. He should go to jail. You guys call the police. You guys call the police on Donald Trump. <laughs> was that the same session as the butthole? The same session. It was the she, wow. she was really trying hard that night. I know it's like, you know, Jolene and I will always love you in the same night. Dude, this is like, this is like <laughs> yeah, this is like her like uh <laughs> Weezer Blue album, just yeah. like hit after hit after hit. Yes. It's very Unstoppable. impressive. Unstoppable, yeah. <laughs> um, my God. So have you, let's be real, let's be honest. Okay. Mm. Can we be yeah. honest? For, for a fucking change? Yeah, thank you. Ooh, what a relief. Did this go to her head? Like, no. Okay. No, she okay. actually, if we're talking as real as we can, it's, uh, for it's, real, all, yeah. it's, an, it's annoying to her. Really? Um, yeah. Well, when this was happening and there were like TV show interviews and radio interviews and put your game shows, she, like book book deal talks and like 
you know, f- yes, yes. How, how the fuck she, is she, she a has a, she has a liter- she has a literary agent as we speak. Oh, for like if like kids books and like mm-hmm. that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it it was wild. She was just like, why doesn't everybody just leave me alone? <laughs> like, wow. oh. Okay, so I don't push her to to write any more songs. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. That'd be a very weird stage mom. Like, come on, Jolie, we need more butthole songs. <laughs> the world needs butthole songs, you fucking lazy bitch. Write, write another song, song about another orifice, please. <laughs> the public. Just, like, uh, watching her do the for one of the first interviews was what in Australia or something? She did like an interview with someone in Australia, like a news maybe something. So, yeah. It was just so crazy because I mean, knowing her since she was a baby, like to see this like kid have this moment was really neat it was neat to see yeah and the fact that like it seemed like it made quarantine fun yeah that's what i want to say is that it it had it was like a like a moment in time where the whole world is going through this weird fucking thing Mm -hmm. but yet there's this really cute funny thing to just distracted us for yeah a few weeks actually because yeah well i still get so much mail about it to this day People write every day. Thank you. Your daughter's song got us through. We still sing it every day. And, and the cover songs. Yes. Like, there's been yeah. some high end, like yeah. really good cover songs yeah. where if you took the lyrics out, these would be like Grammy winning songs. No, but- I, I know. Radner and Lee did. May, that's my favorite cover. Right. <laughs> they did my favorite cover. Do you know those guys? It was guys? so good. I do now. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know them beforehand. And uh, their version was so, it was beautiful. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like that, you know, Ben they, Lee they, would sing, my butthole. <laughs> so nice. They <laughs> took it, like people, people have taken it seriously and done like techno remixes. And it's yeah. just been a yeah. wild ride. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see what comes next out of that kid. Yeah. Maybe nothing. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be nothing because... Yeah. Yeah. There's, not, there's not much she can't do. Yeah, elderly <laughs> man, seventy to eighty. Um, what, is, what does she want to do in uh, her life? Well, <laughs> we were talking today, and th- at this age, everything I say, she has an argument for. Everything, like there's nothing I can't ask her to do anything, and she's just like, "Okay, mom, everything is well." Here's why I need to. Do. I said you should be a lawyer. So now she's like, "How much money do they make?" I said, "A lot." Okay, I want to be a lawyer because I, I have what do you say? I get to have an answer for everything. Oh, I get God. to I get to I get to talk back I get to back talk or something, something like that. But yeah, but she also um mentioned that she's really interested in photography. So Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, I bet she could do a great job with that too. Cook. She also wants to be a cook. So I'm gonna tell a little beh- little behind the scenes story. So before mm-hmm. before we, we started this uh show, um we were talking on camera and just kind of catching up and Jolie popped on, said hello for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. And you, you were telling her like, hey, you know, when we start doing this interview, you just, you just got to be quiet and kind of go in your room, just chill out, hang out. And she's arguing because she wants to keep playing video mm-hmm. games. And you're like, Joe, you have to let me do this. And I said, at least let me talk to her for a second. And she got on. She just looked at me, like gave me the face of what do you got? What do you got? <laughs> and I was like, Joe, um, if you wouldn't mind when we start doing this, like, uh, please give your mom some privacy because this is this is what I do for for fun and for a living, and I need you to take it seriously. And she goes, "No," and walked away. It's <laughs> like right in my welcome fucking, to my world. I'm a <laughs> yes. forty. I'm a forty oh, year old give man. A shit. And she's like, and, "No," and no. just walked the fuck away. No, she doesn't care. And here's where it started. You know, I read one thing when we were pregnant and said, "Listen, give your kid a choice." You know, if they you ask them, do they want the sweet potatoes? Do they want the peas? It's like, that's great. I'm really going to instill that. That's going to be, that's going to be great. She's going to have so many opinions. Slippery slope. <laughs> yes. Dude, we fuck up with that one. Let me tell you. <laughs> God. Yeah. Everything she has. I mean, she's, she's the best though. I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. I'm happy. No, I agree. I agree. It's, it's um, trying right now, but it'll be great when she's older. She can be incredibly rude to her elders, but she is a great Incredibly. Kid. Like, I don't know we were, where she gets it. We were at like a uh, last year sometime we're, we were at, um, a bar or something celebrating someone's birthday. Yes, and, it and she was, like, was I mean, She was there. So it wasn't a bar. It was like a restaurant. <laughs> but um, she was sitting on the bench and all she was doing the whole night was flipping me off. Just middle <laughs> finger the whole night. And like laughing about it. And at one point I was like, hey, Joe. Um, yeah, you were getting really pissed. I was, like, I was hurt by it. I was like, hey, can, can you... <laughs> okay. would you, would you mind just like uh... not flipping me off? Like I'm just... I'm, I'm not doing this. She was... 
like it became like the finger at first it was like down and when i asked not to it became like just fucking right there yeah, that one and just defiant yeah, just so this, uh, she's, she's gonna if she wants to she's gonna change the world because she yeah. will not take no from anybody God, and she's so observant about the coolest shit like she what did she what did do you remember what she said to us last night she brought up like some excellent point and i was like fuck i really i don't know but she's she's take it from me she's amazing <laughs> yesterday i uh i i gotta i gotta read what happened yesterday so i sent you i sent you guys we have like a group chat going on mm -hmm. uh, about a lunatic that we have in common which i want to get him on the podcast sometime i think you should should you i should. do it as a, as a prank no no, I want you to crack the case wide the fuck open, Cleary. I'll I want you on. to get him on here and like really ask him some, because Johnny and I talked about it. We want to do a documentary on this motherfucker, but like. Can we talk about it or no? Don't use specifics, but yeah, you can talk about it. So I don't know this person, but so this guy, I, I mean, you explain who he is. I don't know how to explain how who he is. is. Johnny, come here. <laughs> this is your favorite fucking subject, please. You gotta be careful with this. I'm not going to mention his name. My, let me just preface this by saying my husband is as close to a saint on earth as a person can get. And I'm without, not being funny or ironic. any question. He is such a good person. Like, I feel like an awful person compared to him all the time because he's just like that good. And he hates no one. Yeah. He despises this fucking guy <laughs> so much, like with white hot rage for years. For years. Hi, hon. Hi. Here, do you want these? Ow, uh, watch. Get off. Get off. Get the up, fuck dude? off. There we go. Here. Uh, Here, put this on. Yeah. What's up, Johnny? Hey, man. How's How are you, buddy? Great. So, Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Here, fine. On. Scoot over, though. Yeah. Um, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show hey. again. Welcome back, I guess. You've been on before. Cheers. Yeah, I like this show. It's a great show. So you guys, <laughs> you guys were very kind in letting me into this world where we have a group chat. Mm -hmm. dedicated to talking about one person and can you give like a mysterious explanation of what we're talking about so um there's there's a fella that we have had um sort of in our circle tangentially tangentially like two steps yeah he's not really in our circle but yeah. he, I, but that's why i said double tangentially okay he is a he is a person who's somehow uh, in the life of another person who's close to us. And once or twice, I think we've come into contact with him in the course of our, what, 20 years in Los Angeles. But um, one- Is that when he called me the C unit? No, I don't know. Oh. I'm not gonna give him any, any, okay. any, any interactions okay. <laughs> specifically, but mm -hmm. uh, there was, uh, a couple times when I feel like I was in the same bar as him and I saw I was like, I kind of knew him, but once or twice I kind of learned that he was a certain way. Like he had this strange interest in this one thing that like, Babe, you have to be more specific. Otherwise okay. the story sucks balls. So sorry. All right. <laughs> I learned that he was like hyper, hyper into Haley Duff, which is a weird thing. That is it's incredibly like, specific. Which is just, what did you say? <laughs> incredibly said, specific. Said, incredibly specific. I'm just saying, like how? Because uh, what I was saying before wasn't interesting, but a hook that can actually get you to stop and be like, well, he was what? <laughs> is that? And I remember being like, oh man, that's weird. Do you and know what? Then, I can get them in touch. Don't. <laughs> I can. That would, that would probably fuck it all up. I can get them in touch through her sister. It's Haley Duff's sister. Hillary. Hillary Duff. Yeah. Maybe that's who he liked. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't even one of the, matter. One of those. Yeah. Either one of way, those. we're going to hand deliver Haley to his house Hilly. no matter what. No question. Right. Hilly. We'll just, let's just say Hilly Duff. Hilly okay, Duff. Cool. cool, cool. Um, Jill Duff. Yeah. So so the uh, that like piqued my oh. interest as being sort of, well, that's a peculiar thing. And so like <laughs> over the course of like seven years later, like a buddy of mine sent me a text and was like, hey, check this out. And it was like another sort of quasi weird far left celebrity obsession. And it started to get into a little bit more like uh, broadcasting um, random 
missives opinions about the about movies like screen caps of stuff and i was just like man but then also he he no no i'm not gonna get into that so it it just became (laughs) fascinating to see like what this guy thought was huge broadcast material to put on facebook and he always his facebook alerts are always like Guys, it's official. <laughs> yeah, yeah, things that are completely not official. Like, it's official. I spilt my jalapenos. And it's like, bro, what do you mean official? Like, was anyone disputing that? Or did you have, like, uh, the Guinness Book Records, uh, like, official there being like, he did it. He's built it. I mean, yeah, I, I am I am so new to this world with this guy. But his mm-hmm. his posts and, like, he he um, he goes Facebook. Lo- he, does, he posts a lot of videos yeah. on his Facebook, which are just, like, the inner workings of a fucking maniac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. a full I, on. I, I was probably going to get there, but I was telling, I was trying to plant seeds of how I got there. <laughs> of, the like, show is only an hour plus long, so I want to speed it up a little. I'm bit. I'm new to this. You guys have been talking for a minute. I've been in here. And Margaret. then he Let was me four years old. And hang on, grew, hang on. Yeah. Is this the premium feed? No. Or is this okay? No, this, this is the main. It's the main feed. But if, if, right, you, cool. if, if we want to go extra, we could like. <laughs> cut yeah. over to the yeah we could cut really to premium right here and <laughs> hey if you want to hear the real story mm, of like what go, is going on here then you need to get on the patreon because that's where the fucking real shit by the way i want to tell everyone uh patreon that we're on patreon this was your idea johnny for us it to do was because i know like, you you guys have sensationally fantastic uh runs oh well thank it's, you and funny uh explorations of ideas and thoughts and a lot of times on podcasts i listen to um, that's not this so, that's one. The, no, I'm just, I'm like that stuff's all free, and it's great. But if you really have like, like, you know, drilling into stuff, uh, get get into a second tier of, of people who are really want to and make some money. You're actually making content, and you're yeah. actually making thoughtful uh, uh, stories and connecting dots and stuff. So like, why wouldn't you try to get you know, get people engaged in a situation to be like transactional. I mean, like, Hey man, you give a couple bucks a month. And, and that's like, always, extra. I mean, that, that's always the discussion that people have is like, well, yeah. it, it, there's, there's a certain kind of like grossness to asking people that support you to fund it. But like, it's not Ford, gross at all. No Ford, way. Ford isn't giving cars away. Like, you know, 100%. MGM isn't making movies just because like they're wanting to be cool about it. I you would know, like, I, actually, you don't have to make any examples. I would, I would venture to say there isn't anything that's good for free. There isn't anything that's good for free. Um, Walking have you outside. heard of Instagram? Huh? No. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, taking a walk, sure. Like you know, the breeze tonight in Los Angeles was fantastic. It was like, super nice out. But I'm talking about like stuff that yeah. people, people trade amongst themselves. The way the the way it eventually made sense to me and uh, is like there's things that I donate to there's things that I pay for yeah. and I enjoy I I like the idea of supporting things that I appreciate me and too. that's yeah. a a way of letting someone know you know more than just giving someone a like on a picture mm-hmm. is like hey I appreciate you here here's my appreciation financially here you go totally yeah I I pay you know I pay like like ninety dollars a month for Direct TV and I don't even watch like eighty percent of the channels and I probably not don't even watch ninety percent of the channels but it's yeah. built in well it's built eighty into is my less life. than ninety so huh. but but I it's it's built into my sure. life right it's like mm-hmm. a built in like fee yeah. and what I I realize is like well like I can probably cut half of that and no one notice and then I can put that money that I'm I've cut off cable into like. Uh, so I have a Patreon bill that hits me every month and it's like 10 or 15 different things. And sometimes it's a dollar a month, $2 you a month. You to like 10 or 15 different Patreons? Yeah, like buck here, two bucks there, five bucks. And it's, sometimes it's just people on Twitter who are like... We'll talk about this later. Uh, yeah, Lisa, how much are your fucking <laughs> exercise classes for fuck's sake? Yeah, how much are your <laughs> exercise classes? You said? Yeah. Hey, they've cut... The, it used to be a lot of money. But now it's... Uh, I, I'm down to 110 a month. Thank you. Yeah, my Patreon's it's nowhere less near. Than that. Yeah, <laughs> but Johnny's doing fine. It's but he pays much less than that for his guy. Yeah, I think my Patreon uh, output a month is like twenty bucks, maybe twenty five. But that's it's like nice five. of you. It's nice of yeah. you to do. And uh, and uh, as someone who is now a Patreon creator, we appreciate it. You know, and, I, so, and so thank you for the push and thank you for yeah. helping set it up and and yeah. all that stuff. It's been uh, it's been nice. And can I you think, get the guy on the show though? That's all I care about. I will try to do that. Um, but let me do finish it. thanking your husband real quick. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I think that doing that is going to push us to have a better show in the future. So thank you very much for, uh, oh, yeah. for doing it. 
Of course, man. You just mm-hmm. gotta you just gotta get it get it launched. So absolutely, absolutely. So the, if you want to go into a Patreon moment, we can talk just a little bit more candidly about where that's where you can also show the shit pics. That's, that's true. We probably could do that. <laughs> yeah, you can put it on the feed. Patreon has a. Out, I gotta you think put it on the private feed. What? I, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Are, are you mm-hmm. guys up for? Are you guys able to chill for a little while? Yeah. You got any more of that margarita? Yeah. yeah because another, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna fi- I'm gonna finish up with Lisa. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, get yeah. into the uh, the presidency situation at the end of the show because our people, our listeners, hate talking about having us talk about politics. Sure. So I'm gonna make the end of the show about the presidency, and then we're gonna come back with some extra shit for uh, for oh, folks. Oh, Sam. Yes. All right. Dude, oh, Sam. Motherfucking cha-ching. <laughs> yes, cha-chinging out. <laughs> Oh, cool. Enjoying the podcast? If you'd like to show support for Rareform, there are a couple of ways. Become a patron at patreon.com slash rareformradio. Make a one-time donation or choose from a few subscription levels paid monthly for extra benefits. Those extra benefits include bonus episodes not available to the public, exclusive live streams, more interactions with the gang, along with other special perks that will change over time. Choose your level of donation and know that your contributions go to keeping the show running and growing, paying crews behind the scenes, and just supporting independent artists. That's patreon.com slash rareformradio. You can also get Rareform merch by going to rareformradio.threadless.com. T-shirts, hoodies, mugs, all kinds of silly shit. We're constantly adding new things and limited time only goodies. That's rareformradio.threadless.com. You can also help build the show by subscribing, leaving a review, and most importantly, leaving us a rating on iTunes and Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Lastly, follow the show on Twitter and Instagram by searching at Rareform Radio. Thanks for supporting independent entertainment. So Lisa, um, let's talk about your anxiety some more. Um, No. (laughs) No, you know what I do want to talk about? Real quick, uh, one more question about your yes. daughter. Um, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? How old was she when you started seeing her personality come out? <sighs> Immediately, she was one of my earliest memories. It's so funny. She, uh, I was in a. She was so particular about going to sleep and the way you put her in the thing and like if you were around her and you made eye contact, all everything. She's super conscious, super aware, super early. And so um, there was this one day I had finished breastfeeding her and I put her in the stroller, which typically would make her just doze off and it had the little canopy on top. So she couldn't see me <laughs> from where I was sitting. And I thought, okay, well, she's going to take a nap. So I take my phone. I want to know if she's asleep. And I just go like this to see if it's, if she's asleep or not. And I see her, I have a video somewhere. It's my favorite Jolie video to date. And she goes, she looks at me and she goes, <laughs> and kicks the little fucking phone out of my hand. She's like, I'm fine. I don't fucking need you. I'm good. <laughs> it's so funny. It's the best video. Um, but me talking about it, it's not as funny as it is. No, we can imagine. We can imagine. You we can, can imagine. imagine. <laughs> I got I got Johnny a bidet for his birthday. How'd it go? You, I mean, it's, I guess okay. He he wasn't really. I don't think he likes it. He about? has one at work and he, he loves it at work, but I Wait, bought him one here and he doesn't love it. Lisa, I, I haven't had headphones in. What the fuck are you talking you said, about? <laughs> you said, did you like it? I bought, I bought John a bidet for his birthday. Oh yeah. I didn't know that. We didn't talk about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And? I don't think he likes it. Why? It's fucking I don't great. Know. I don't know. He, he just, he, he was weird. He's like, well, it leaked it for, he hit a, a plumbing issue at first. It wasn't connected correctly. So. Who knows? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. It's I mean, a mystery to us all. Robert, I tried it. I don't like it. Why? I feel like I feel like it's dirty. Like, let's just say you're taking a crap or whatever. A poop. A, a poop. <laughs> <laughs> drinking a monster energy, drinking a and having a poop. I have poop coming out of my bomb. <laughs> so you got this water shooting. I feel like it's gonna be poop explosion. You don't, Lisa. Uh, listen. So I wipe first. Let me explain something real quick. I'm a fucking lady. You don't spray it while you're shitting. You wait till you're done. <laughs> no, no. Yes, you gotta wait. <laughs> no, <dude. laughs> no, no. It's when the shit is done. Uh huh. If there's any like little dangly bits, Remnants. not on me. Remnants. Uh-huh. No, not yeah. you, of course, but on, no. on women, right? Yeah. Other okay. hose. <laughs> yeah, I feel like um, it would make them spray everywhere. No. I don't I mean, like it's, that. It's not, it's not like a, it's not like a fire hydrant. And everybody's power. plumbing is different. 
like I feel like the hose doesn't really. I'm like, come here, <laughs> I gotta like angle my well, shit. You know the, the the really the high end like installed bidets. There's like it's laser sighted and it's able to find like where your butthole is. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want a laser finding my butthole. Can you imagine like the no, R and D? No the, what are you, uh, the- Tom? <laughs> Tom Cruise? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mission as possible or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, my birthday is uh, December fifth, and if you want to give me a bidet, I'll uh, I'll take it. I may give you this one. I just not. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> I don't know about that. I she should. was. My sister came over and she's like, "Yeah, I heard you got a bidet. Can I?" Uh? I'm like, "Fucking no!" <laughs> you wouldn't let her do it. You wouldn't let her use it. Why? Because can you I not. Mean, can you? It's like an hour old. Can you not? Oh no. yeah, it's a little too fresh. It's like yeah, it's weird enough sharing it with these two monkeys. I you, can't like you, you can't have someone who's not in the household like be one of the first up to my use pla- it. Yeah, no. man. And Carla Thank takes you for she drops she bombs. massive dumps, massive. She's known for that. Yeah, really she is. I mean, everyone call her, everyone calls her uh, Carla Big Dumps. That's our that's, that's right. been her name forever. <laughs> Carla Big Dumps forever. Um, can you tell a story recently when she thought she had Corona? Dude, every fucking day. Bitch calls me like twice a week. Like, this is it, man. She's, she's terrified. She's like upset this whole household many times. She's like, no, I really, and she, and he, she hasn't left her house. She's convinced she's got it from like, that's what I asked packaging you. or like, like she's terrified. We, we, I mean, she this blocked country... off her fireplace because she was afraid the person downstairs. No, she didn't. No, she, yeah, no, she, she did not. <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> you, you, ha- listen, you, you have to tell me right now that you're kidding. No, I can't I'm not. I this. wish I were kidding. This is why, this is why I've had to keep it together, bro. Like everybody is just fucking coming apart at the seams. She yeah. blocked up her fireplace? Fireplace because she was afraid the Rona was going to come up through the fireplace. Like a, like a vengeful she heard her neighbor. <laughs> she heard her neighbor coughing downstairs and she's like, can't take any chances and blocked off the fireplace. You have yes. got to be kidding me. I wish I were kidding you. And I'm like, Carl, it's not logical. And she's like, I know, but you know. Bonus <laughs> story. <laughs> Um, I mean, this country uh, could use more people like her that are actually no scared shit. of it, but, but that's a bit much. No, it's a lot. It's a lot. She's gotten better, though. Uh, you were at the super secret Borat 2 premiere and uh, <laughs> telling everyone about all the scenes in your private messages. But um, <laughs> but during it, you got, a, you got a text or a phone call from her, oh, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, I'm watching the during the fucking Giuliani scene. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm like, God, I know it's coming, and I'm here, here's the scene, and I'm ready. And my fucking phone rings and it's my sister. I'm like, oh, this is not good. It's like 930 at night. Why is she calling me? Let's pick up. She's like, hey, I'm, uh, I don't want to scare you. But um, and I think she kind of does. <laughs> like, Anyone who says I don't want to scare you, they, they, right. don't call, they don't call me. <laughs> yeah. I'm you, like, well, mm-hmm. and she says, yeah, I got um, I got a fever. 99.5. <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's a, your impression. If, if no one here, no one here knows Carla at all, but like, if you knew Carla. She's going to fucking kill me, by the way. Is, it's like a caricature impression. It's like an SNL impersonation of her. Okay, yeah, but ahead. it's not far off at all. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. And so um, I'm like, it's, it's fine. She's like, and I threw up and have diarrhea. <laughs> like, Okay. Okay. So do you want to keep going you know, with the story? Are you sure it's cool to, <laughs> to uh, keep going with her story? She um, didn't have Corona. Right. And then I, but then, cause I'm an empath, as you know, <laughs> I, yes. I, I felt like maybe something was wrong with me. I just got seriously ill for a few days, but I went to take the test and they said, I was good to go, baby. That's one thing we have You're to remember. Strong, is like, that, like Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> we have to remember that there's still regular colds and there's still going to be the flu. Not everything it's is terrifying uh, though. Not everything is is Rona related. I vomited like for the first time since I was like, you know, I don't know, 12. <laughs> oh, really? I just vomited one day. Yeah. And I like could get, get up out of bed and I didn't know if that was depression or just like anxiety or what mm-hmm. the fuck, but I couldn't get out of bed. It felt like terribly nauseous, t- like weird. Okay. It felt weird. Okay. And I was convinced I had it too. So I really shouldn't be shitting on Carla. No. No, stick to farting on your she daughter. She started it. Right. Don't shit on your sister, but fart right. on your daughter all Word. the time. Totally. Um, what did you want to get into? So I found out that I, I knew my mom had a Twitter account because she's always, she's my biggest fan. I didn't know she did until today, but yep. Uh, treat yourself. And uh, <laughs> she, um, she's always liking my stuff and retweeting. I'm like, thanks, mom. Love you. And so I took it upon myself. I was like, you know what? 
let me see what my mother's doing on Twitter. And holy motherfucking shit, she has found her Shangri La, Daniel. Okay. She just spends her time yelling at Trump supporters. Oh God. It's amazing. So okay. So not not a very unifying force in our country right now. Your mom. (laughs) (laughs) Not at all. Oh, here's this was just this was just a couple hours ago. She's talking to Donald Trump and she just said, Go away. (laughs) Gets better. It gets better. Okay, so some guy says, Donnie, you are a very smart, self-made man. The libs can't handle your humility. Keep grinding. Wow, <laughs> so, cool, the cool dude. Mom says, please don't speak when you don't know what you're talking about. His daddy gave him millions and he screwed that up. Unless you think that's the meaning of self-made. <laughs> it's just like Again, going an- on- another great impression. Her mom, like yes. Lisa, Lisa here and her whole family, they're from Jersey. And her mom is like. Her mom somehow never moved away, but has lived here forever. You know what I mean? She's still it's true. Like, yeah. It's true. Here she is. Uh, you got a bigger, somebody says, you got a bigger crowd than Biden supporters this morning outside the White House. My mom says, let's give her the bigger rallies. We got 74 million votes. And by the way, still counting. You have a great day because I sure am. <laughs> it's just like. What a ball buster. Oh, my God. This is my favorite when she uses capitals, though. When she capitalized everything. Even Fox said you lost by a lot. <laughs> and then Biden tweets something and she says, congratulations, God bless you. <laughs> oh, really humble. Very humble. <laughs> Congrat- oh, no. Congratulations, President-elect. God bless you. Oh, congratulations. Man. God bless you. This is three God bless you's. She's an ordained minister at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is, I love this one. <laughs> this woman says, this is a travesty, but we caught them. This election is just beginning. <laughs> Mom says, with four exclamation points, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she is she the re- shit. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let's see, where is it? Seek help. Bye bye. <laughs> Your intelligence level is just overwhelming. Oh, here she wrote Giuliani and she said, hey, Rudy, F you. <laughs> wow. Like, Does she, are these like she all is. like uh, one after another or she kind of spread them out? What's that? No, she spread them out. Bye bye, asshole. <laughs> oh my god she's a troll your mom's a troll she's trolling she loves it she truly loves it yeah usually i'm pretty anti-troll but right now i'm kind of like really li- a little bit i mean i, I listen me too. i'm also a hypocrite i uh <laughs> i definitely troll that motherfucker as much as i can listen I'm, I'm so fucking petty though some bitch took it upon herself to come onto my instagram page and she said so i posted little lil wayne with uh oh, trump yeah. last week yep and she's like y'all are going to be in for a real heartache next week. <laughs> so I just catalog that in the back of my brain. Five right, days later. Let's, let's get into it. This is the end of the show. We're going to go full yeah. politics from here on out. I don't know. Do we have to? I don't know. I'm so sick of them too. Do you want to answer I'm questions just, first? Yeah, let's answer questions. Oh, yeah. first of all, finish that, finish so, that story. So, so I'm so, I'm very, as you know, very petty. So I catalog that in the back of my brain. Literally five days later, I write her and I was like, as you were saying. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm guessing she hasn't responded yeah. or she'll pull in. Oh, she sure, of- she sure did. She sure did. She sure did. But fraud. She, her, fraud. Her name, her last name rhymed with what I then called her was Twatson. And she goes, uh, oh, really original. And I said, yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> I'll bet. Good. Good. <laughs> I got her. Uh, you, you got her good. You won. Yes. Yeah. Um, I did so not we, uh, fight with people on the internet. We have a few people sent us a couple questions uh, mm-hmm. for you. Hmm. Um, the first one here is uh, also you have been acting since the age of what, like four, five, five. Yeah. Um. You, lately, I like that you've been posting like old commercials, like stuff. No, that fa- that found me. I woke up one morning and um, I was ta- somebody tagged it, and then I saw somebody wrote, "That's Lisa Raphael." Oh my god! And then that's how that happened. But yeah, that's right. I've known. I'm not for, going through my for, old reels. <laughs> like, and here no, I was. No, I know, and, but I mean, you repost it. It's how you're like, oh, yeah, I did this also. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> but you've done so much stuff and it's it's fun seeing you like doing these like Chef Boyardee commercials. Like these are commercials that I probably watched as a kid and it made yeah. me want beefaroni because I yeah, was a, a lot of people. I mean, <laughs> this might surprise yeah. you, but I was a beefaroni fanatic. As no, a I could never peg you for a beefaroni fanatic. Doesn't so seem to pair well with Monster Energy drink. My yeah. mom, without asking, like when I, when we were young, would serve Coke with dinner. All right. That's like, kind of typical, though. East Coast, not, it's pretty East yeah. Coast, but like my uh, grandma would put two liters on the table. 
eat your fucking broccoli and drink your fucking Coke and go totally. to bed. Yeah. Right. It's, it's weird. But like, yeah. um, um, what was my point? Oh yeah. So I, that's why I learned to eat like shit is cause I like, we always had like donuts and ice cream and cookies in the yeah. house and we were poor. So there was a lot of times we'd like, okay guys, yeah. it's cookies for dinner because we love you. Not because we're super poor, but because we love you. Have fun. It's an early birthday present. Yes. It's June. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> So that's that's why I am a walking garbage can. Um, so someone asked, um, uh, with your long career doing both, do you have a preference between music or acting and why? I mean, um, no. I, I feel like they both feel really different to me. Um, music is more personal, I feel like. But sure. Um, it's all a way of getting the energy out. And um, so if it's acting I'm doing, then it's acting I'm enjoying. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's music, then it's, then it's music. But I, I want to see you acting again soon. I haven't seen okay, you. Watch, give me, watch, give me an emotion. Um, okay, so. Um, <laughs> I used to say that in my grade school. Do some acting. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> yeah. All right, here it is. Here it is. Um, yeah. You're a 50-year-old. Alabama somewhat wealthy housewife and you've just found out that your guy Donald Trump lost the election you're just seeing it come over the ticker go I'm clutching my pearls what they've done to our great leader I need to call the fraud hotline right now I need to call the fraud hotline on my cordless phone because I'm rich is that good Be Beverly what happened what are you reacting to well, they just took away our Lord and Savior, Jesus, Lord Trump. What are you talking about? You, he, he got the election stolen from him. He and supposed, when to, I, he supposed to get four more years. He supposed to. Twelve more. And get downtown Trump Jr. You didn't let me finish, bitch. I, I was about to say twelve more years. He's supposed to cut down the pedophile ring. What are you talking about? Well, I know, but now he's got his boy Epstein gone. and who's Everybody's gone. <laughs> boy! <laughs> Man, what, what we're, a both really we yeah, we're both really, really, really good. We're both really good. <laughs> the sad part is no acting lessons, and you yeah. had a lifelong, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. fifty-three I mean, years, fifty-three I'm, years in the business, and fifty-seven uh, yeah, this 50, year. Sorry, sorry, yes. I was fucking up. Yes. Um, um, okay, so you don't have a preference really between the no, two. I, no, I no, I feel like um, uh, music I can do whenever I want. Acting feels to me. And I suppose I should be making my own films if I feel this way, the way I made my own records. But yep. I just feel like, you know, You're I can more do that at the mercy of other people when yeah. it comes to acting. Yeah. Yep. Which is why I started music. I just got tired of waiting to be creative. And that's in when, that sense. is that, that's when, uh, what was your first musical endeavor? Wow. It was called Killer Kitty. Killer Kitty. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that's where, that, is that, Tell me again where the idea of Kalola came from, the word, the name. Uh, Tim came up with it. Okay, he, he that's was, right. Uh, yeah, I had two bands before Kilola. <laughs> this is really genius. I had Killer, Killer, Kitty, Killer Kitty and Lola. And Lola. And she's yes. like, Kilola. I'm like, yep. <laughs> It was pretty good. Because yeah. I, I, I've seen, I think I saw Lola play. Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. I think you played with Lola, didn't you? Did I? No, I mean, I, 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 was, I was the first bass player in Kilola, but I don't, I don't think I played with Never Lola. Never Lola? No. Nope. Okay. Um, oh. um, and he didn't know about my country music thing. Okay. Superman. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> it is some good, good one. <laughs> there are some songs, the, the some old Kalola what? songs. What? No, you have school tomorrow. Here we go. Ruining my fucking <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, stay up till 11 o'clock. Go. I don't even care anymore. I've lost control. Just go. Tell, tell her I'll Venmo her 100 bucks if she shuts the fuck up. Dance until venue, Venmo you $100 if you just go now. <laughs> yeah. Is this real? Yeah. No. I don't think so. <laughs> go to bed. Thank you. <laughs> go ahead. Um, so what are you saying? I don't know. I fucking lost You're my saying, can you talk about Kilola being... Oh, yeah. There, there was some like... In the <laughs> like early days of Kilola... Like we would do some songs like that song eventually and uh, progeria. Take the other one. Yes. You know, and these are songs that you quickly abandoned. And I was so bummed out that you didn't keep playing them for a long time. I don't know. I feel like we played them for a while. I mean, they had their their time. 
That's true. They were kind of nuts. I mean, the band was a little different than two. It really was a punk band. Yeah, it was fucking that rad. was a fucking punk band. Yeah. Eventually is a song I really, really... Is there a recording of that anywhere? Somewhere. I got to hear these things. Jolie, shut the hell up. <laughs> you hear? She said yes, I, I can do. step as late as I want. <laughs> I'm a Dorella cocaine. <laughs> um, second question for you. Yes. Um, Lisa, why don't you have your own podcast? Um... I did for a minute. No, after you guys, <laughs> after you guys, it was supposed to be myself and a girl named Alex. And oh, yeah. yeah, she got really busy with something and she um, couldn't do it anymore. And so then I was like, all right, fuck it. It's a one man show, baby. <laughs> and I, and I, I did it for a little while and um, I just kind of got bored with it. I wish you would. And this is a question that I, I wish I'm a fucker would. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I feel like either you and Johnny, I mean, it's easy to say. I like you and doing Johnny it with be- Johnny. I, I feel weird just hanging out by myself, you know, cause then you just, it's too much of hearing my own voice, do you know? Mm-hmm. And so oh, yeah, I like, yes, I know. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, yeah. but with Johnny, it seemed we, we had a radio show for years on it was great. Uh, your it was friend, so great. Dave Navarro. Yes. Um, 6969 spread radio live. 6767. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Fucking pervert. <laughs> Six oh, nine six so nine. I, don't, I don't forget a thing. <laughs> six nine six nine. <laughs> yeah, and that was great. That we yeah. had a we had a really good time with that. It was pretty popular. And um, yeah, I mean, maybe he's been real shy about getting into anything entertainment wise. I don't I feel it. like uh, he's just well, he's like, busy with other you know stuff and fuck. I don't give a fuck what his yeah. life is like. <laughs> right. Me Tell too. him not to be so selfish and, and share himself I, I with the world. I do. I do. Yeah, maybe um, we will. What about the, if the three of us started one? Maybe that would be fun, but I feel like it would be a lot of you guys beating up on me, which, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like, we, I think we would all take our lumps at different times. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll do it. You know? All right, cool. It's official. We're starting Done. a new podcast. Guys, it's official. <laughs> um, let's see what else we have in here. We've got some more general questions if you want to mm-hmm. partake in a few. Mm-hmm. Um, what have we? What have we? Oh. Uh, this is from Cade. Uh, question for Lisa. I was just wondering what your songwriting process is and if you have a favorite song that you've written. Um, the process is different every time, depending on who I'm writing with. Um, not right, presently, the process has been, um, I will hum, I can't play an instrument, which is pretty sad, but I can't play an instrument. So I hum stuff songs to Luke and then he kind of transcribes stuff and we've been writing that way um when I was writing with Tim Tim had a bunch of songs that he had sitting around for years and I and he would send them to me and I would just do stuff over them and that's how pretty much the first album came about um with Killola it was Johnny and I were writing the songs and then um, we take them to Dan and Mike and which by the way I've been seeing Mike Ball more lately and part of my soul has been restored that's been he's awesome. A one, he's a wonderful human being. He's the guitarist in Killola <clears throat> and um, good friend. And um, so, and then we would, and the guys would just add their stuff. And Dan was really good about like punctuations and let's take a break here and then come back a lot. Like Dan was really good with that stuff. Um, he's so a, it's always, da, it's always da, different. Dan is a very, um, like a genius when it comes to arrangements and mm-hmm. uh, dynamics. I remember mm-hmm. that very well from being in the mm-hmm. band in the early days. Yeah. Like a, uh, uh, I was I'm, if I wrote a song, I never wrote any songs for Kalola, but when I write songs, it's like, okay, here's the first chorus, and then uh, we'll just do it a couple times and be done. And like Dan's mm-hmm. the kind of guy that'll slow you down, like, no, hold on, let's think yeah. about it, let's get loud here, and let's yeah. move this here. And this is making me sad because I miss, yeah, rest, I miss, rest, rest I, peace, I, miss I could just, <laughs> I could have fucking don't even say that. <laughs> I could just um, see him being in a room and like figuring stuff out in the way he would. He yep. would count to himself, and, and then go, oh, yeah. okay, here's what we should do, like you know. Uh, I know these are the things that we miss. These, over, are the, man. these are the things that we fucking need to get back to as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. And how. So and, it's always different. Yeah. And then uh, a favorite song. Um, uh, I really like This Is How the World Ends. I love, I love performing that one. You know my favorite Kalola song, I think. Killing Superman. No. <laughs> Progeria. No. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I can't, I don't know what it is about this song, but traffic has been really? one, of my, one of my favorites forever. That, that Aww, uh, thank you. 
the chorus. Anyone who's listening, when you're done with this, go to Spotify, look up Kalola and listen to the song. Hold on. Let me just say this. Yes. Our Spotify is a little fucked up. This is terrible because we're a band that should have this together by now. We did a movie. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we did a movie uh, years ago where we wrote all the songs and we produced it. And there's, it was called Girl Trash All Night Long. Yeah, I'm in it. Thank you. That's right, you are. I'm in it. (laughs) And, uh, there's versions of our songs that that have been rewritten for the movie and they have the different characters singing them. So sometimes when you go to the Spotify for Kilola, it sounds like we're doing fucking theater. Like it's like a, like like musical theater. There's oh, 12 weird. different voices for our songs. That and, and the movie was has a pretty big cult following. So people request these songs. So it's at the top of our shit. So people come to know these songs as Kilola songs. And it's really not <laughs> what we sound like or our vibe. Um, so make sure you listen to the Kilola version of on, Trash. On what, record, that to say. what record is that on? It's on Girl Trash All Night Long. It's a soundtrack, but... No, Traffic is on a, a, a real oh, album. Oh, I don't know what album it's on. Uh, what? I don't. <laughs> I don't what know. We've written a lot of fucking songs. I don't know. You know what's cool, by the one way? One of them. One of the later ones. My entire... What song is uh, Traffic on? What album is Traffic on? Let's get associated. He yep. has not smoked as much weed. <laughs> yeah, I get. It. Um, you know the only the only two films I've been in is Girl Trash All Night Long and yes. Star Is Born. Right, right, right. Just those two, and yep. unfortunately, Girl Trash did not get an Oscar nod. But whatever, <laughs> I can't be in all bangers. You know, what it I was mean? a cute movie. It was cute. It was. It was fun. And then whoever that girl is, the web series the, was better. But <laughs> the bass player girl, that main, the tall girl, was very hot. Michelle Lombardo. <sighs> Yeah. I would like to just fucking... You and me both, buddy. Get in yeah. line, yeah. You would. <laughs> <laughs> if your daughter was asleep, I'd ask more questions. But um, It's all right. She's fine. Are you a, are you a podcast listener? <laughs> no, Johnny is a huge podcast podcast listener. Then I have a That's question. That, I have a question I'll save for him maybe for another mm-hmm. time. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, all right. Oh, it's a good political question. We'll wait. That's all we got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll save some. Uh, did, I saw a story today by on Twitter. Check out this for a headline. Breaking news. The man who suspended himself from the side of Trump Tower in a 14-hour standoff with Chicago police SWAT negotiators just escaped from a private ambulance saying he has a mission to complete. <laughs> How amazing is that I hope headline? to God this is the same guy that's on the jetpack. But they keep seeing it. Dude, uh, that guy LAX. over at LAX. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if, if you guys don't know, there's a, there's a guy... <gasps> Like is he doing? He's doing it illegally, right? And, and no one's catching him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a guy. Twice now. There's a guy who's flying over Los Angeles International Airport on a fucking jetpack, and like, oh, you know, in, in a in like planes flight paths, which is highly illegal. Like and, the, it, people see him out the window, just yeah. like fucking Inspector Gadget and shit. And how do you? Just, <laughs> you can't pull over a motherfucker on a jetpack, so he like he just like zooms away, like uh, like some kind of Batman villain. It's amazing. God, I hope it's our friend that we have the group chat about. <laughs> okay, let's okay, let's quickly let's quickly talk about the uh, the election. We'll wrap up okay. this segment and we'll do an extra bit. Mm. Um, how have what what over the last four years? Can you explain to me, as a woman, what it's mm-hmm. been like for you? For seriously, having been this guy awful. having this guy in office nightmare. Um, when you look and see people dancing in the streets, this happens when <laughs> dictators are overthrown. It's been fucking awful. Um, and telling, you know, having a daughter and That's trying it. to discuss these matters with my daughter. It's not been fun. Not an enviable position. How do you, like, how, how do you explain Kamala, him to her? I don't have to. She okay. gets it. Okay. She fucking gets it. She, she just thinks he's deplorable. And I tell her, you know, there's kids um, in cages who will never see their parents again. And my uncle argued with me today. He's like, Obama made the cages. Obama never separate. He did make the cages. Yep. Never separated families. And there were actually, and cages, yes, they are cages. So we'll just call them cages. So Obama had cages that were dedicated for entire families, <sighs> keep the family together. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Trump administration made it their, their policy to separate the families to mm-hmm. punish them mm-hmm. for trying to better their lives by coming here. Mm-hmm. Yes, they're coming here illegally. Yes, they they should try to go through the uh, the legal route to do it. That should that process should also be a lot easier. But mm-hmm. to to have that kind of um, coldness 
to it's giving me goosebumps and make me want to scream. So we're going to move past this. Quickly, yeah, but dude, like, it's been so dark and I've been so happy to be happy for like 24 hours, you know? Right. Like it's, it's been a much needed fucking sigh of relief. Yep. My, my entire family. Um, I, I, sorry. I saw an yeah. ornament, a Christmas ornament yesterday. Um, and it's supposed to like encapsulate 2020 and it had like toilet paper shortage and curbside pickup and fucking social distancing and like everything on the store. And, and while it's in super bad taste, I fucking bawled. I saw that and I just bawled, just like ruminating on how difficult this truly has just, it's been. And so like, just to have 24 hours, nobody's been cynical. People, you know, people haven't been hateful. People have been happy. You can feel it. You can fucking feel it. I've seen comments, uh, people being like, oh, you think, uh, you think Biden's going to fix everything? And what, pe- what people, the point. Don't, what, what, what you guys don't, what, what a lot of you guys on the right, and you guys are humans, you guys have a right to your opinions, that's all fine. But what you don't understand, we did not vote for Joe Biden. We voted against Donald Trump. Make mm-hmm. it clear. Let, let's have mm-hmm. it be known. I voted more for Kamala than, than I did for, for Joe oh, Biden. Yeah. 100%. But, and and it worked and there is a feeling like uh, my entire family is all Trump people like up and down the line and that's my fine. jersey that's folks great. are yeah, yeah it's 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 fine and 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 there's Makes plenty of, there's plenty of reasons there is some reasons why you would prefer him if you're you know financially focused he he did good for you because he caters to people that you know make more money um if uh, uh if you're a big military person you're under the impression that he cares a lot about the military whatever but um all that shit aside uh it should say something to you when he loses and the world is celebrating like right there, fireworks in yeah, paris this is what happens fireworks when dictators are overthrown yes, leaders awesome. calling saying like all right big ups <laughs> public, public tweeting, Good on like, you. Like, like uh uh macron and uh, trudeau tweeting to biden and kamala being like Basically, I can't wait to work together again. Yeah. Like, looking forward, uh, even Boris Johnson, who's the, mm-hmm. the UK Trump, uh, tweeted something about like looking forward to getting back to work on climate stuff. It's yeah. like, like if, if you can't understand that like <laughs> yeah. the world is celebrating your guy losing, maybe he's not the right guy. Yeah, I mean, I, it wasn't lost on me that we were in West Hollywood, California celebrating. And so, um, but I looked around mm. and I said to Johnny through tears, I was like, can you imagine people hating you this fucking much? Right. Just the people in the streets rejoicing. How about when he got Corona? And My everybody God. was like, oh, I hope he fucking dies. Like, yeah, I, I got a lot of shit from people for I got in a fight with Johnny. saying that. Yeah, my, my husband also, who doesn't talk like that and was like, oh, oh this is hysterical and was laughing about it. And I got really upset because no matter what, I don't like to fuck with that energy. Don't wish death. Oh, that, that makes one of us. I, I, wanted, I know, I'm sure, but and I he feels the same him, way as you. But Dude, I wanted that fucking guy to die slow in front of his kids. But isn't this better? Like, isn't this better? <laughs> in a way, but in a way, but no, I guess he would have been martyred if he died. But um. So, yeah. Again, if you guys listening, uh, we're gonna do this until the end of this segment. So if you don't like it, you can just turn it the fuck off and then rejoin us for the fun stuff on Patreon. But, but I'm gonna pull out my tits. So oh. <laughs> yeah, they are. She is, and I've seen them, and they're not bad. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I saw a really good meme. It was something to the effect of live your life in a way so that oh, when God. you lose your job, the whole world doesn't celebrate. Yeah. You know, and the, another meme of like a. Um, Donald Trump got the full 2020 experience. He got Corona and he lost mm-hmm. his job. Mm-hmm. And an empl- yeah, well, I guess that's lost your job. But <laughs> it's uh, it's crazy shit. And there is a sense for a lot of us of just an exhale of like a, okay, we got two months to hold on. Hopefully we're still here in two months, but just like help is on the way and just normalcy. And I, and I want to go back to the days of, uh, I loved Obama. I loved him a lot. Yeah. And weeks I love not fucking by. caring about politics. Listen, I loved Obama and weeks would go by where he wouldn't enter my mind. I wouldn't yeah. think about him. And you'd and, see me like, hey, what's up? Cool, dude. All right. Oh, that's cool. Hold I'm it gonna, down. Sweet. I'm going to get back to whatever I was get doing. Get back to my not, nap. Cool. You're right. Just yeah. everything fine? Yeah. We're, we're yeah. Up, not going to give a shit about politics some more. Bye. No more tan suits, you <laughs> maniac. Okay, go. <laughs> um, but it is, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what, what oh, God. Question? And then how about when... Uh, when the election kicked off, you know, before we stole it, um, 
<laughs> we did it, guys. It was, yeah, yeah, we did it. <laughs> um, when, you know, the votes were starting to come in for Trump, I just remember feeling so scared and feeling like I was going to spiral into a depression that maybe I couldn't climb out of. That was the scariest part, just going, oh, if wow. He, if he won again? You mean that? Like, yes. Yeah. So for for the first three years of his presidency, I knew, uh, first of all, I'm one of the few of us who knew he was going to win the first time. And everyone thought I was nuts. Like uh, I was at election night with a bunch of our friends and they're all like, <laughs> this is, they're all, everyone's all smiles and everyone's all mm-hmm. drinking and being like, can't wait to, can't wait to ring in our first female president. And for weeks leading up, I'm like, you guys are, you guys got to realize, like we all grew up on the East Coast or West Coast. The mm-hmm. middle of the country is different. It's a uh, you have to respect. So eye opening. Yeah. You have to respect the rest of the country, and you guys got well. to be prepared for this guy winning. <laughs> well, you, you do. You do. <laughs> that is a problem. We do have to respect people's opinions and like people that are um, do work in coal mines and people that do drive trucks and all that kind of stuff. I'm just it, talking about people who come from a, a place of a, a um, from a hateful place. Oh, it's sure, so but, hard for me I, to respect that. Again, it just seems to go hand that, in hand with a lot of Trump that, supporters. For sure. But I think people that voted the first time, like he was an idea the first time. We, mm-hmm. It was like, eh, it's something different. Maybe it's like in the very beginning, mm-hmm. I was into the idea. When he first announced, I don't like Donald Trump, but I like the idea of like. Ronald Reagan was cool. Yeah. Right. Like this, this, <laughs> what'd you say? Ronald Reagan was cool, right? Oh, yeah. In, in a way. <laughs> um, but I was like, and then he started talking about like, uh, you know, um, I want to. I want to prosecute doctors to perform abortions. I'm like, okay, I'm out. Fuck, yeah. fuck this. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Hillary it is? Okay, great. <laughs> um, but there is something about people that voted the second time. It's kind of a different, like, what are you doing? I, it just, um, and I know, like, if you watch that documentary, um, The Social Dilemma, it kind of explains how we all do get different news. Are you Okay. No, my back fucking hurts. But okay, on. move your microphone closer. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh. yeah, yeah, lift it up. Oh, yeah, girl. Um, <laughs> but like we, we do get different news and that's a big factor in yeah, what people know about for this sure. guy. And if you, if you just follow his Twitter feed or you just listen to his press conferences, you would think that the people on the left really are lunatics going out of their way just trying to fuck this guy over. But it's just... It's not truthful. We need some honesty back, and I think it's coming for the most part. I'm gonna miss some good old fake news. Are you? Just kidding. <laughs> okay, yeah. I will say one thing about uh, my favorite. My favorite thing to come out of the uh, the Trump presidency. Mm-hmm. So the term fake news is obviously Baron. pretty. Yes, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you remember when that NASCAR driver Bubba Wallace had the the noose hanging in his garage? The black the black driver Bubba Wallace. <laughs> No, he I, he's like one of he might be the only, but he's like one of the top NASCAR drivers, and he's black, and he's a mm-hmm. you know it's weird to have a black you, in your mind. It's weird to have a black NASCAR guy for mm-hmm. whatever reason. And, Maybe in um, your mind. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I, I definitely as I was saying that I'm like I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but he he went to his car in like one of the NASCAR garages, and there was a noose hanging from the, uh, the garage. Cool. Door. Yeah, and it turns out that it actually wasn't a noose. It was a way to pull the garage door down. So the term... Oh, what? Hold on, it's true. <laughs> or what? But it's true. No. But listen, the best part of the entire Trump presidency was the hashtag fake noose, which is really genius. Fake noose. Oh my God. That was man. pretty good. I got to say that was pretty good. I'm so confused about this. So did he previously live in this place? No, no. Like the a garage at the track, a garage oh, at the like when he's like oh. where, where his car was You're being like, held. It just looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, wow. All right. So anyway, congrats, congrats to you and your daughter and women all over the Thank country you. and minorities, and it's pretty awesome that yeah, you know, ninety one. I heard that ninety one percent of black women voted yes. for Biden, and thank you, black women. Seriously, I mean, thank you to oh, yeah. minorities everywhere for like not being scared to have your voice heard, and it it, it is going to make a difference. And um, hopefully, it'll lead the people feeling more confident in voting and voting later on. You know. Mm-hmm. So let's wrap this up. What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> it's like a like a Burt Reynolds when he did Playgirl or whatever it was. <laughs> I wish. You um, know, I worked at Burt Reynolds. Talk to me. I was about to he say was, goodbye to you, but a, let's. Uh, no, he was, he was a fucking maniac. 
God rest his soul, but he was, he was insane. What'd you work with him on? Uh, it was called Evening Shade. I love that show. <laughs> yeah, I was on that. I played, um, what the hell was her name? Oh God. I can't remember her name, but it was the actress who talk like this. I played a young version of her oh and, God. um, there was, okay. So it's the table read and how old are you? This is like, uh, you're like, what, 24, maybe this is the mid, like nineties, right? Yeah. 80s, 90s. Okay. Yeah. And the, the, we were at the table read and there was this sitcom director who was a well-known, I'd worked with him several times. Like, you know, he's a, he was a very well-known respected guy who was the director and Burt Reynolds started flipping out. I don't know what he was flipping out about, but he started screaming about something regarding the script. And he looks at this director and he goes, <laughs> he goes, maybe this works in TV, but, uh, not in movies. Movies. Have you heard of them? Don't worry, son. You'll get there one day. <laughs> like, it was the most old school I, Hollywood I like, shit. I, that, that's what I was going to say. This is so old school oh. Hollywood. <laughs> oh, dude, he would pitch fits on set. You could hear, no matter where you were in the studio, you'd hear him scream at the top of his lungs. He was fucking scary. He, he was sounds really like scary. he was a bit of a nightmare. Oh, he was, well, I mean, this was one week. I was there one week. My friend was on that show as a regular. Uh-huh. I mean, he has a lot more stories than I do, I'm sure. But holy shit, he was terrifying. Were you, uh, so you met him? Like you did, you yeah. did the whole, okay. Did, were yeah. you like excited to meet him? And was it, did it quickly turn to like, oh, this guy sucks? Um, no, I just, I, I mean, I, at that point, I didn't really realize okay. how cool Burt Reynolds <laughs> was. Okay. Um, but I was just like, oh, cool, Burt Reynolds, whatever. And wow, you're fucking off your rocker. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Soon followed suit. But um yeah, it was he was a lot. That's he was a good. lot. Mm -hmm. There's no way he didn't slap so many girls. <laughs> There's oh, just no fucking for, way. For sport. Like he's the kind of guy. <laughs> he was yelling at Lonnie. Lonnie was on set and he was yelling the shit out of her, and their son Quentin was there and he was yelling at him. It was just like, are you ever not yelling? Yeah. He, He's like the character he was in Boogie Nights, you know, when he would be like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. like yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. that kind of is how he was. On I feel set. like he's the kind of guy where um, he expects and demands anal on the first date. So, wet blanket. <laughs> uh, and that is Lisa in, in his a nutshell, ass. everybody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Lisa, let's end it here. And, okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> I would like to thank you very much for doing thank this. Thank you, Danny. It's this really, was fun. Really fun. Yeah. Um, it's nice to have you back since you stormed off the show yes. after three episodes <laughs> yes. a year ago. Yeah. Um, people have always asked sure. what happened. What happened? Huge void. Yes. And <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Yes. We're not going to talk about it yet, mm -hmm. but someday we'll mm -hmm. do a full expose about why Lisa is no longer on Rare Form Get Radio. the fuck out of here. That just sounds like a heartache. I'd rather just say... <laughs> no, 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 don't say anything. We're going to yes. save it. God. Once we have yes. 600 patrons, we'll tell the story <laughs> about what happened with Lisa. But listen, you're, yes. you're, you'll be back. We're going to do this again. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, maybe with the... Maybe with the three of us sometime. Who knows? Ooh. Who knows? <gasps> I know. Um... Do you have any, uh, where can people find you? In my house. What the, listen, you're, you're <laughs> I know, where, where can they stop. find me? Shut Fucking the fuck friends up. Shut, far shut up. Farmersonly.com, motherfucker. Where are you talking about? You're you so find me? much smarter and funnier than that line. No. Shame on you. My house. Yeah. Oh, you can find me in my house. <laughs> so where could you find me? <laughs> on social media. Oh, well, to be different, I like to hang out on Twitter and Instagram. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lisa Rafael or Rafael Lisa I can't remember because I'm bad at promoting myself and they're linked <laughs> I assume but uh sure follow her she's got some good shit um <laughs> if you if you are turned off by people taking selfies don't follow her Instagram <laughs> <Fuck> but you <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I'm just happy there's no more workout videos those things drove me fucking nuts are you Yes. I feel like pe people like them. No, people they don't. like them. No, they, they don't. do. Perfect. People guys, like guys, my guys that can drink. I get a lot of comments. No, it, real talk. I get I get mail from women so much. Like, oh my God, I wasn't even gonna work out today. Thank you so much. Oh. And I know I post them now and I feel fucking weird. I partially hear your voice yeah. in my head. But I would I would incessant <laughs> I I was okay, I admit I had I like was a little bit of a problem. I would post 
every workout and I work out a lot. I work out two hours a day. Yep. Um, and yeah, and down, part down of it, my, bust my I balls. Also, I also will say, I don't yeah. like, you and I don't really like complimenting each other and giving us a nod. It pains me. Yeah. It's yes. not, it's not easy for the one of us, but I mean, you, you devoted yourself to, to getting healthier or whatever a couple of years <laughs> ago and you, you worked hard and um, there's nothing wrong with uh, being proud of it and yeah. we want to show it off. And also, listen, we all, we all post selfies. We all, if you, if you have, are you fucking for real right now? I don't even have that many selfies. Lisa, Stop shut the this. Fuck up. There's Stop hundreds. This. They're in your stories every day. Motherfucker. I'm going to go to hold your on. Instagram hold and on. see hold what's on. going hold on. on. This is what I'm going to say. If you have social media, you do like attention and there's nothing wrong with a little validation. So Lisa, I'm going to validate you. I enjoy your page. Um, why don't really, you have any selfies? <laughs> there you go. You got to scroll oh, a bit. You have these videos. So these you, these are off. I yeah. don't like these. Do you know what the game is? Uh, this I, is how, I know what this is. <clears throat> this is how you know if someone does too many selfies. So if you can get, what is it? If the way you scroll, you can get what? Nine pictures in one window? Listen, bro. Is that I, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think so. So if you cannot get nine pictures that don't have a selfie in them, you post too many selfies. Do videos count? Because <laughs> well, that, that was all one night, by the way. That was a, that was that was corona. Listen, oh, I got my ring light for you. By the way, no by the way, you just scrolled for like two minutes to get there. So shut the fuck up. No, I just don't. I bat it the internet. <laughs> all right, thank you, Lisa, for coming by. We're Thanks, gonna quit Dan. this. Um, for Patreon subscribers, you can keep tuning in. Um, and uh, listen to what we're about to get into with her and her husband, Johnny, about this lunatic that we know. Oh, my God. Um, you can go to patreon.com slash Rareform Radio. <laughs> you can find us on Twitter and social media at Rareform Radio. And thanks again to Lisa for coming back. Thank you. Our second time champion and Ooh. joining us and had a blast. This is a long I did episode. Too. I mean, a blast. That's all. I mean, it was, it was, it was fun. <laughs> I love you. Thanks, everyone. (laughs) And uh, we'll be back (laughs) next week. Thank you for listening. We love you all and have a good night. Bye. This is Lola, and I'm here to tell the world to stop being such pussies and listen to Rare Forum Radio.